हेलो आई एम मिसेस वैशाली सामंत आई इनवाइट यू ऑल टू सरस्वती ट्यूटोरियल्स इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो देन प्लीज शेयर इट सब्सक्राइब इट एंड प्रेस बेल आइकॉन आल्सो टुडे आई टेक सम मोर प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन इनडेफिनिट इंटीग्रल्स दिस इज वन प्रॉब्लम दिस इज आल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम साइन इनवर्स ऑफ रूट एक्स माइनस कॉज इनवर्स ऑफ रूट एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय दिस इज इक्वल टू वॉट सो हियर साइन इनवर्स रूट एक्स प्लस कॉज इनवर्स रूट एक्स इज पाई बाय टू यू नो सो दिस विल बी पाई बाय टू सो दिस पाई बाय टू फ्रॉम द डिनोमिनेटर वेन इट विल कम आउट इट विल बिकम टू बाय पाई नाउ वॉट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू इंटीग्रेट दिस एंड दिस सेपरेटली सो ट्वाइस वी हैव टू इंटीग्रेट सो इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट वॉट यू डू दिस साइन इनवर्स रूट एक्स यू राइट इट एज पाई बाय टू माइनस कॉज इनवर्स रूट एक्स सी दिस इज ए फॉर्मूला सो साइन इनवर्स रूट एक्स यू रिप्लेस बाय पाई बाय टू माइनस रूट एक्स सो इट विल बिकम पाई बाय टू माइनस टू कॉज इनवर्स ऑफ रूट एक्स दिस इज कॉज इनवर्स ऑफ रूट एक्स ना सॉरी डी एक्स सो दिस पाई बाय टू इंटीग्रेशन विल बिकम पाई बाय टू इंटू एक्स एंड नाउ दिस यू डू इट बाय पार्ट्स यू नो हाउ आई हैव डन सिमिलर प्रॉब्लम सो यू कैन डू इट नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इज टेन इनवर्स ऑफ रूट ऑफ वन प्लस एक्स माइनस रूट ऑफ वन माइनस एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई हियर माइनस हियर प्लस so here you put x is equals to cos 2 theta so 1 plus cos 2 theta you know 2 cos square theta 1 plus cos 2 theta is 2 cos square theta and 1 minus cos 2 theta theta is 2 sin square theta so substitute here use root sign here and then dx you find out in terms of d theta and further you write all these things in terms of tan so tan inverse tan will go and it will become simple problem integration by parts it will be you tried this answer or this answer any one both are correct answers now this is very important theorem and you have to remember this formula e raised to x cos bx dx is equals to e raised to x x square s divided by a square plus b square into bracket a cos bx plus b sin bx a cos bx plus b sin bx derivative of this like this we did but but sin is positive here better you buy hard this formula many times this theorem is also asked to prove there will be more than 3 marks 3 or more than 3 marks will be there to prove this so carefully you try it twice now you can remember now this is not uh, algebraic x, x square is there so sometimes while taking derivative it will vanish and it will become zero so this what happens when such type of function is there we have to integrate twice integration by parts so here exponential and this is trigonometric so u comes first so u is equals to cos bx and v is equals to e raised to x so its derivative is minus b sin px and its integration is e raised to x upon a now integration of this will be equals to this i will call it as i i will be equals to this into this minus integration of this into this so this into this i have written here minus of minus it will become plus b by a will come out and this into this further again you do it by integration by parts so this as it is and b by a outside here then in that case here you will get u is sin bx u is sin bx u dash will be b cos bx derivative of sin is cos and v is this v1 is this so this into this minus this into this so you will get this sorry here by mistake i have written minus sin it is plus sin here now i will simplify this into this and this into this i will multiply so this into this when i will do it will become b square upon a square and this is nothing but our original i and this will be minus see inside the bracket with minus sign this into this integration of this so it will be minus and this is i so it will be minus b square upon a square i now this i you bring here so it will become 1 plus b square upon a square it was minus here it will become plus into i is equals to this term as it is plus this term as it is now this you take lcm i and then afterwards i when you are finding you take this term here and now you multiply 
when you will multiply here see e raised to ax you take common and a square for a square plus b square denominator you take common so here a a cancels one a will remain a cos bx and here when you will multiply here a square will cancel and b sin bx will remain plus c so you have to remember this formula problems you have to solve by using this formula remember we are using price integration two three times if you will write it you will be perfect in this but you have to remember this formula now this last page we have done it for e raised to x cos bx now it is for sin bx this formula also you will have to remember so formula is this purposely i have not solved this problem you solve yourself this same method you have to do it by integration by parts twice you will get this answer you make practice so that you will be perfect in this and previous also now if this question is asked e raised to x cos x then here a is 1 b is 1 formula is this so substitute a is 1 b is 1 and then you write this will be your answer so that's why i told you to remember formula here in this case a is 3 and b is 4 so a square plus b square will be 25 so here it will be you will get this answer formula you write and then you write but if 2 raised to x is there then you cannot use this this is for e raised to x so 2 raised to x cos 3x is there then you have to do it actually so here cos 3x is equals to u v is equals to 2 raised to x its derivative is minus 3 sin 3x and its integration is 2 raised to x upon log 2 integration so in integration of this will become this into this minus this into this now when you do minus this into this it will become plus and minus 3 upon log 2 will come out and you will get this. Again do it by parts. This is u and this is v. So u dash will be 3 log 3x and v1 will be 2 raised to x upon log 2. Now again this upon this into bracket. This into this minus integration of this into this. Now if you will see carefully this is nothing but i. So it will be here this will be. 3 upon log 2 outside and this into this I am writing and here the integration of this into this 3 upon log 2 I am taking out 2 raised to x cos 3x so this will become i here. If I remove this bracket then it will become this into this and this into this. So it will be 3 into 3 9 and here it will be log 2 whole square into i. Now terms containing i you take here and it will be addition and this as it is. Add this i and when you will find out i you shift this term here and write this answer. So if you will make practice no once or twice if you will solve without looking my problem you will be perfect in that. If anything asked for e raised to x you can write formula e raised to x but for 2 raised to x 3 raised to x you will have to derive actually. Now another important problem usually it is asked is say cube x to x. Long time I told you this will do by parts now so we will do it. So sec cube will do it as sec 2x into sec square 2x. Sec 2x into sec square 2x. So I will take u as sec 2x and v as sec square 2x because I know integration of this. Derivative of this is 2 sec 2x tan 2x. And integration of this will be tan 2x and in integration coefficients we divide all of you know. So integration by parts will be u into v1 this into this minus integration of this into this. So when you will do this 2 2 cancels and this will become tan square 2x. Now tan square 2x you write it as x square 2x minus 1. And this as it is and next time you multiply this and this it will become sec cube 2x dx and this into this is integration of sec 2x. Now this is nothing but i. So there is no coefficient so when i you will bring here that i and that will become 2i and this will be this term as it is and integration of sec 2x is log of sec 2x plus tan 2x and because it is integration that 2 will come down here. And therefore i will be divided by 2. So make practice for this. This is very easy not difficult. You can do it. Now last time while doing this formula also I told you. We will do by integration by parts. So here I will write u as this and v as 1. 
because if I write u as 1, its derivative will become 0. So, you have to do like this. Its derivative will be <coughs> u dash will be 1 upon 2 root this into derivative of the bracket 2, 2 cancels, you will get this. Integration of v is v1 that is equals to x. So, integration will be this into this minus this into this. So, minus this into this when you will do, you will get it this. Now, this is very easy because here x square minus a, a square is there, subtract a square, add a square. So, this upon this when you will do, you will get this. And next one is this upon this with minus sign. This is nothing but i. You bring it here. So, 2i will be equals to this minus a square into integration of this. This is the formula for integration. So, formula I am writing. So, i will be half of this. So, this question can be asked in the examination to prove also. And you should remember this formula also because it is useful for solving problems. Now, next problem is integration of root of x square plus a square. Same method, u is this, v is this. Derivative of this is 1 upon 2 root that into derivative of the bracket 2x. And v integration is v1 that is x. So, i will be this into this minus integration of this into this. You add a square, subtract a square. This upon this, you will get this and this upon this. This is i you bring here, 2i is equals to this term plus a square into integration of this, you know this. This is formula you should know. Now divide by 2, you will get this. This can be asked in the examination to prove and you should remember formula also you should by heart because while solving problems, we are making use of it. Now I will give some problems for homework. You can try those problems. Integration of sine inverse 2x upon 1 plus x square, but you know sine inverse of 2x upon 1 plus x square is 2 tan inverse x and do it by parts 2 you take outside and u as tan inverse x and v as 1 and then try this problem this this similar problem i have solved for 2 raised to x so integrate it twice you will get this answer now this problem you substitute log x as t so x will become e raised to t so dx will be e raised to t dt and substitute this will be cos 2t and formula you apply you will get this answer here also you substitute log x is equals to 2 t a x is equals to e raised to t answer is given now this problem apply formula for 2 cos a cos b formula and simplify and then two different integrations you will get direct formula you apply and solve here also you can apply formula and you can solve I'll stop here now. Some more problems you try yourselves on this.